Hello, everyone. This is Kevin from Huidu Technology in Shenzhen, China. Welcome to join our Huidu technical training session. Today, it is the first contents. The topic is LED basic knowledge. Before start training session, in order to provide a good training environment for you, I essentially suggest you Please keep your audience on mood mode during the whole session. The second, please feel free to leave your questions that are related to today's topic and message zone. We will reply you under QA session. And the third one, if you have any other questions that are not about today's contents, please feel free to contact us at email. Thank you. Uh, after finish all HDCE series training sessions, there are some HDCE exam tests. We will inform you to do the test to get the E certificates once you qualify to final exam. For this new year, we plan to start HDCE technical training online by Zoom at the following time. Today, we give training on LED display basic knowledge. This is the first course, which it is also one of HDC series course. From the easy to the advanced, we will have more than about eight courses at the following months. Today, this course is primary. You will learn the scope of application of LED display with Huidu controllers and LED module basic knowledge. And also you will learn how to calculate resolution of one module or LED display and how to check drive IC, hub ports, and basic varying distance range of LED display. You will also learn about LED display and controller classification. Like you will get to know the difference between synchronous and asynchronous control system and LED cabinets basic knowledge. LED display is very widely used in the world. So first, let's watch a short video to know some application of LED display with Huidu controllers. In communications. Taxi roof, shop LED banner, footprint LED banner billboard, smart LED pole screen, gas station. Information, power boost LED billboard, traffic guidance LED display, smart digital signage, shopping plaza outdoor, elevator billboard, LED glass fronted billboard, airport LED information wall, figure rotating billboard. Stage, a reset table display, hotel banquet hall stage, eight wall, night bar and disco video board, karaoke bar LED display. Okay, uh, just now we watched the video of scroll scroll application of a photo controller. So, what is LED? and LED display, how to make it. You know, LED is the abbreviation of light emitting, DIRT, so we call it LED. Its working principle is that the inside of LED is mainly a PN junction. When the electrons and horns in the PN junction recombine, electrons transition from a high energy level to a low energy level and the electrons release 
excess energy in the front in the front of photons resulting in electron luminance. The luminous color is related to the material element that make up a space. There are three material elements for the light color. GAAS is for red color, for red line. GAP is for green line. GAN is for blue line. As you know, most of the colors in nature can be obtained by mixing three primary colors in a certain proportion, RGB, red, green, blue. The smallest light emitting unit of LED module have two package style used in the market. One is DIP, means dual inline package. Another one is SMD, means three in one, RGB three in one surface mounting devices. You can see the photo. DIP tab is the earliest development developed technology. It is usually suitable for outdoor large pitch display screens, such as P16 full color module, P10 red color module. It is popular in the past, but now uh, SMND module, it is the most popular because SMND, the color is more uniform and the flatness is better. SMND technology, has developed rapidly and the cost has been reduced a lot. So now it is the main stream products of LED display at present in the market. For the third part, let's learn some professional terminology in the LED, in one LED display before we learn in more information. So first one, what is Pixar? What is pixel pitch? Pixel is the smallest light emitting unit of LED display. Just now we said LED. And each light emitting unit in the LED display that can be individually controlled. So it is called a pixel. And pixel pitch is that the center distance between two pixels of an LED display is called pixel pitch, also called dot pitch. The denser the, denser the dot pitch, the higher the pixel density per unit area, the higher the resolution and the higher the cost. So the smaller the pixel, diameter, the smaller the dot pitch. You can see the photo, photo, pixel pitch, and, and the pixels consist. So just now we, we learned pixel and pixel pitch. What is resolution of one module or one display? Module resolution is multiply the number of horizon pixels of the LED module by the number of vertical pixels. And the display resolution is multiplied the number of pixels in the horizon direction by the number of pixels in the vertical direction of, our, of the LED display. Here shown some examples. Like 16 by eight, eight pixels, 32 by 16, 16 by 16. So the, the higher the resolution of the screen, the more contents can be displayed and the more delicate the picture. But the higher the resolution, the cost will be more expensive. So just now we said pixel, pixel pitch resolution, but how can we calculate the resolution of one module or one display? There is a calculation formula. Wide resolution is equal to width size millimeter divided by pixel pitch. And high resolution is equal to height size millimeter divided by pixel pitch. For example, 
There is a P10 module with size 320 millimeter by 160 meter millimeter. What is wide resolution and high resolution? So P10 means the pitch is 10 millimeter. So the wide resolution is that 320 divided by 10, it is 32 pixels. And the high resolution is that 160 divided by 10, it is equal to 16. So it is 16 pixels. So the total, so the P10 resolution is 32 by 16 pixels. Do you get it? Do you get it? Okay, let's go on next part. You know, every LED module have connection ports. We call it hub ports. The hub ports is, is used to connect with another module and also connect with controllers. There are many types of hub ports, such as hub 75, hub 8, hub 12, and hub 40, and so on. So how can we check the hub port type of our LED module? Actually, we just need to check and read backside in form of LED module as above shown. You can see the backside of LED module. See, the left module, the printed is hub 12. So it is hub, hub 12 ports and the right side, it read hub 75E ports. So this hub type is hub 75E. If there is no printed information on backside of every module, you have to ask your module supplier. And of course on controllers, there are also hub ports, like just now said, because it also need to connect with LED display, LED module. So on controller, they also have hub ports. Like our Huidu C16C, it has 10 group hub 75E ports on board. And C16, uh, it has two group 15 pin ports. 15 pin ports hub is universal ports. It needs to work with extra hub adapter because half the hub ports of connect of controllers and LED display must be same. Then they can work together. If different, they cannot work or you need to use extra hub adapter. Let's continue check hub ports on Huidu receiving cards. You can see the photo. The, uh, the receiving card R512S is Huidu receiving card. It has 12 group hub 75E ports. And uh, next is R500. It, it is also Huidu receiving cards. It has two group 15 pin universal ports. So R500, it need to use hub adapter. Okay, let's continue to check our other Huidu controllers. Now you can see W03. This is our Huidu single color Wi-Fi controller. It has one group hub eight ports. You see the photo, the yellow, yellow ports is hub eight. And uh, uh, it has three group hub 12 ports. You can see the black, black ports. The black ports is hub 12 ports. And you can see the next modern, WF2. It is, it is a Huidu full color text controller. This controller has two group hub 75E ports. You can see the blue ports, it has two group. And just now we said when the hub port of controller and the LED display are different, then you need to use hub adapter for compatible connection. So here is some common hub adapter which our Huidu company can provide, such as hub 12, 16, hub 75E, 10 ports, and hub 8, 8 ports. You can see the photos. Uh, but some LED display company, they also make some special hub adapter for their own products. If so, you need to ask them for a hub adapter.
because they produce it. Next, we learn some important technology parameter. The first one is grayscale. Grayscale. What's the grayscale? You can see the photo. The number of brightness level that can be distinguished from the darkest to the brightness in the same level of brightness of LED of the LED display. For the display screen used to display video image, each primary color should have 256 level 8 bit grayscale processing capability. capability. The grayscale depends on the media source and the processing phase of the control system. At present, the LED display screen mainly adopts an 8-bit processing system. That is 256 gray label. The simple understanding is that there are 256 brightness changes from black to white. And using the three primary color of RGB, then it can form 256 by 256 by 256. Simple, easy understanding is the higher gray level, the picture or video, the color will be richer. Yeah, you can think like that. The second one is for LED display, there is a best varying distance range. What is the best varying distance, distance range? It, it is the vertical distance between the position where the image contains its clearest and the screen body can be seen exactly and completely without flat color. There is a calculation method for approximate range. The maximum varying distance is equal to pixel pitch by 3000 three thousand divided 1000. And the minimum varying distance is equal to a pixel pitch by 1000 divided 1000. For example, uh, for a display with a pixel pitch of eight millimeter, the best varying distance is eight to 24 meters. If the distance you are closer than the minimum distance, and the pixel of the display will be distinguished and the grayness will be stronger. And if you stand far away, the human eyes cannot distinguish the features of the details. Here I have a photo, you can see this is LED display varying distance reference. You can see the smaller the pixel pitch, the closer the best varying distance can be. You can see the photo. There are many pixels like P8, P6, P4. The smaller the, smaller the pixel pitch, the closer the best viewing distance you can be. Okay, next pass, let's talk about drive IC chips in LED modules. Most LED display are driven by constant current drive IC chips. There are conventional IC chips and PWM special IC chips including drive IC and decoding IC, such as FM6124, SUM2016, ICN2038, and so on like that. Uh, when, when we need to make a configuration for LED display with special IC chips, the engineers have to know drive IC tab Details. So they can do settings. So someone may have questions. How can we check the drive IC type of, a, of one module, of one LED module? Let me teach you. We can check, we can check and read backside of one LED module. It is very easy. It is very easy. You can you can you can check and read carefully the backside, the backside information, which it is generally printed on IC. You can see printed on IC. You can you can read clearly. 
see the decoding chip, you can read TC7258 HNJ. And driver IC, you can read FM6124. Okay. So sometimes if you if you are unable to read the information on IC, then you have to ask your supplier for it. Okay, uh, just now we learned some terminal parameters and the uh, driver IC. Play to controller can support all conventional chips and most of the special chips, special chips. You can, you can check, you can see the uh, screenshot. This is screenshot of our software settings. So in our software, you, you can select chip tab, chip tab, and do settings in software HD set or HD player directly. And for some special drive IC, our controller also can, can support. You just need to update controller with special firmware file, which we can, we can offer to you. You can see many series IC. Okay, moreover, in the nearest version of HD player or HD sets, there are SSX configuration files for many LED module already, modules already. You can see the loading file, you can, you can find many suppliers and the configuration files. And we still instantly keep updating the list. You can download and load them directly in the software and the internet easily. easily. Of course, we also will teach you how to make configuration files by yourself in the software by smart setting in the future course separately, okay? The first part is LED display and controller classification. There are many types of LED display and controllers. According to the use environment, they are indoor, outdoor, semi-outdoor. According to the display, Color. They are single color, two color, and three color, full color. And according to the pixel pitch, they are P1.53, P2, P3, P5, and so on. According to the control methods, uh, they have LED display with synchronous, synchronous control system, which it needs live stream, such as for the controller, T901, VB210, VB410, and also have LED display with a synchronous control system, which it needs to play offline contents, such as Huidu controller, C16C, C16, and the uh, single color W00, U6A, WF1, and E62, and so on. And also have someone that need LED display with dual mode, synchronous, and asynchronous control system. So it need to use uh, both live and offline, A6, A5, A4, and uh, B6. You can see, I show you the detailed photo of our video controller. A6, dual mode series, and C series, D series, and uh, R series, and also our uh, single color series controller, WF series for full color and the single color W0 Wi-Fi card and the W00 series and also USB tab U6A and for synchronous we also have sending card T901, VP210 this is their photo and receiving cards okay you can check and later you also can check on our website so uh, just now we talk controller classification so what are the difference between synchronous and asynchronous control system? Let me give you details explanation. You can see this diagram. The left side is diagram of synchronous control system and the right side is diagram of asynchronous control system. So we can easily find that the synchronous control system it need always connect with PC or other devices, such as camera, TV set, and they also need to work with video processor together. And you check a synchronous control system. It's no, it no need video processor, no need always connect with PC. 
when you connect with PC, it, it is just to make settings and the asynchronous have many communication methods. We can, we can check one by one, one by one, okay, the difference. The asynchronous, the also, we also call it as offline, that is without a computer and have variable communication methods such as Wi-Fi, UDX, network, cable, and the name cloud platform is all available. So available. You can see the uh, table, uh, this photo is our C C C C and A3. And for a uh, synchronous control system means you need live, need real time display. And, and a synchronous, synchronously display the screen on computers, cameras, set box, box or other device communicated with DVI or HDMI cable. Such as you can see the photo, T901 and VB410. Let me explain to you uh, one by one of uh, advantage of uh, synchronous controller. Now, the first one you can see for Spadu synchronous controller, it is playing real time synchronous display between inputs, input source, and LED large screen by DVI or HD data cable. You can see the diagram. And as to Huidu asynchronous controller, we can update contents of LED display by wireless Wi-Fi on mobile app or laptop. And we also can use 4G network cloud platform for remote control and update content to many LED display anywhere and anytime. In the future course, I will teach you this solution, okay? And we also can use UDisk to, up, to update content of LED display. And for a synchronous controller, we also can use LAM cable. Dual mode player, A6, A5, A4, they can play both synchronous mode and asynchronous mode at the same time in one LED display. They can play live video from HDMI inputs and meanwhile, also can play offline advertising contents from their built-in memory. That's to say if one LED screen in a bar, they can play football live broadcast. At the same time, they can play stored advertising contents such as new drinks in the bar. See this working diagram. Okay, uh, after learned LED display and controller classification just now. Now let's also learn some LED cabinets, basic knowledge. LED cabinets also have many different types classified by material. It has iron box body and uh, aluminum box. Classified by usage, it has bracket, symbol cabinets, waterproof cabinet, hoisting cabinet, stereo ca screen cabinet, and so on, many, many types. Let's check some photos. You can see this is stadium display cabinets with stem, adjustable angle, and with protective cover. And you can see this is front maintenance cabinet and the irregular shape cabinets. So different types of cabinet is used for different application. And see, the, see the, another photo. This is simple cabinet. Simple cabinet means it is open and just structure, which it is very easy to set up cables. Uh, the next is sealed cabinets. You can see the photo. Uh, it is sealed die casting cabinet, means it is closed and it has, it has spec specified network ports and power supply ports. When using sealed cabinets, then you need to match one receiving card for each cabinet inside uh, because the cable connection will be easy to set up. So when using sealed cabinet, how can connect? Here show you some connection diagram. See, just now said one receiving card inside each cabinet. 
So the cable, you can see the cable connection will be easier to set for, for set up. You can see in this connection diagram, it is a LED display assembled with six sealed cabinets. One receiving card inside each cabinet. So total six receiving cards and connect each other by LAN cable. So someone may be asked when using simple cabinet, then how to do? For example, P10, P10 LED display, uh, 16 by 32 pixels, each module, and only using modules. The high has 16 modules and the wide has eight modules. So let's check this photo. Let's check this photo. One half port connect one row modules. If more than 10 rows, then we need add one this receiving card of F12. And then you can connect them, connect receiving cards and main card C, uh, C series controller by CAT6 cable. You can see this connection diagram. Do you get it? Okay. And uh, also have some special display such as curtain display and LED transparent LED display. For this kind of LED display cabinet and for this display, we also have special controller. It is our uh, Huidu mini receiving cards, R5S. In the future course, I will introduce for you with details, okay? Today's topic of contents is over, it's over. Thank you for, for your watching. An HDC technical training series we will have more, more course. You can see this is, this is scheduled live training list. Please keep it and, uh, uh, and, and keep learning, okay, keep learning. Next training session will be March 11th. Then we will talk about how to choose LED display controller. And topic three, we will, we will teach you about how to operate our software, such as our HD player, HD set, HD 2020, and uh, uh, how to use Huidu cloud platform and Huidu mobile app, LED arts. And uh, we will also talk about some controller project solutions, solutions such as ultra long display, multi-screen synchronization, multi-side screen, irregular screen, and at last, troubleshooting solutions. If you have any other questions, welcome to contact us. We will upload this training course to our YouTube channel and uh, Facebook. So welcome to subscribe us. You, you can learn more tutorials there, okay? Thank you. See you next time, okay? Bye-bye. Bye-bye, see you next time.